Okay, so what we often have in any uh, buying and selling process is what we like to call online a funnel. And there are different sort of interpretations of what a funnel is, but where I like to sort of position a, a funnel and describe a funnel to you is, it's just the journey somebody might go from being a complete stranger to becoming a client, a customer from you. They go from knowing nothing about you, possibly five minutes earlier, to then becoming a client. Now, that most easy. people online will tell you that that can happen in a day, or it can happen instantly. We know that not necessarily to be true. It's one thing if you're looking for tickets for a game that everybody wants to attend, and there are very few tickets, then you could probably put an ad in front of someone and say, hey, would you like tickets for this? And people would buy. But when we think back to the pandemic of a few years ago, there were certain things, shall we say, that were tough to come by versus others. You could have said to somebody, here, I've got some loo roll here, I've got some hand sanitizer. They would have bitten your hand off. They would have said, I'm coming right round to buy it. The truth of the matter is, most of the time, particularly online, with all the noise that we have, it's very rare for somebody to see what you've got to offer and to buy it straight away. So this is where the funnel comes in. This is where the journey comes in. And you're going to see with what we talked about, about things like social media and some of the video and some of the audio, because what we do then is we begin to create a bit of a journey where we're not even asking for the sale. We're not asking them to get their wallet out straight away. We may say, give us our email and we'll give you something, but a lot of the time we're just providing information. So one of the most significant digital picks and shovels you can provide is as a funnel builder. And once again, having a real understanding of the journey, the typical journey somebody would go through versus what the sort of uh, tools you have at your disposal are, is one of the real key uh, elements of becoming good as a funnel creator. So let's go back to the florist once again. And we say to the florist, look, you would like to sort of sell some flowers. Just on average, how long does it take once you've said to somebody, here are the flowers that they go ahead and buy them? And the florist might turn around and say to you, well, you know, if it's close to Valentine's Day, I can sell straight away. But if it's in the summer, and I'm trying to do it towards the end of the year and things like that, there may be a little bit more of a journey to go. So this might be where we put up a page for someone saying, put your details in here and we can send you a reminder two weeks before you're looking to do something, right? Another time we might say to somebody, okay, we have a Christmas party package, okay? So we know for a fact that people are going to want to come here and have their business Christmas party. Let's put a series of messaging. Let's put this process, let's take them through the journey of getting an option on where they're going to spend their Christmas party to actually be able to say to them, would you like to book a table? So when you create funnels, you've got to be just very realistic. You've got to be knowledgeable about what's the kind of journey here. And you've also got to, to sort of really master that art of subtle touch points and allow time the key is you win at this when you get more people in at the front end and you just allow it to go, as opposed to trying to get someone from here straight away to get their wallet and buy out there. But believe me when I say this is one of the most valuable skills that you can have. All you really need to do as a, as a funnel manager, in addition to learning the skills, of course, is learning how to manage the expectation of your client and let them know that, look, Someone's not just going to look at something straight away and buy. They need to be in a journey. A lot of the time they're going to have other options. Let me build that kind of platform that will allow us to make sure that when they are ready to buy, you are the only option that they go to.